This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games. Check out their Kickstarter coming soon for Time of Legends Destinies. Thank you for joining me today at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Today I'll be talking about board games launching the second half of September 2019 on Kickstarter. Congratulations to the winner from our last video. Your name is in the description of this video. We have another giveaway for this video. It's from Talon Strike Studios. It's vinyl. And you can check back at the end of this video for more information on how you can enter for a chance to win that. We will be doing a live video on Thursday, September 12th on YouTube uh, around 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. We'd love for you to join the conversation. Let's get started on today's video. On September 16th, Van Ryder Games launches an expansion to Detective, City of Angels, Smoke and Mirrors. They say it adds the hardest cases yet. Western Tropic also launches on September 16th. These next few launch on September 17th. Penguin and Panda Productions launches Manchukuo for 2-4 players. It takes about 60-90 to 90 minutes to play. It's set in China in 1932, where foreign invaders established the puppet state, and everything changed in the village. It's a worker placement game played over a series of rounds. Each round consists of a day phase, where you assign your students to tasks about the town, and a night phase, where you recruit new students and train them in secret. Danger Toad Games launches a universal truth for 1-5 to five players. It is a game of courtship set in the Regency era. Holy Grail Games launches Titan, a 2-4 to four player game that takes 1-2 to two hours to play. It's a network construction game set in the distant future in which you play as employees of Stardrill, an interstellar mining corporation. Stardrill has acquired the mining rights to Saturn's largest moon, Titan, and is sending in a team to strip it of its resources. Jujo is a game for two to five players, it takes about a half hour to play. It's an area control game. Tetrahedron Games launches a second edition to Valhall. It is a game for up to four players, it takes about an hour and a half to two hours to play. Each player takes part as a Jarl in charge of his own Viking settlement on the fictional island of Fornheim. You'll see a second expansion to Light Hunters on September 18th. On September 23rd, XYZ Game Labs launches Ark Ravels. It's a 45 minute drafting, set collection, and resource management game that is set in a colorful and crafty world of fiber art. You play as one of the four crafters, each with their own specialty or skill. You'll draft yarn of various colors, combine it to craft patterns like bears, blankets, and scarves, and then turn them into complete projects and score points. Also on September 23rd, AEG launches a second edition to Edge of Darkness with an expansion, Cliffs of Cold Harbor. These next few launch on September 24th, Time of Legends Destinies is for 1-3 to three players, it takes about 90-250 minutes to play. It's a competitive, story-driven game of adventure and exploration, mixing an app and a board game. It's a first in a series of games using a brand new system called Destinies. This game is set in the dark medieval fantasy universe of Time of Legends, Joan of Arc. This is a result of a close cooperation between Lucky Duck Games and Mythic Games. Puzzling Pixel Games launches Seven Bridges, a game for one to six players. It's a roll and write dice drafting game in which players explore the historic city of Konigsberg by coloring and connecting streets on their map. Deep Water Games launches Sovereign Skies, a game for one to four players that takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. On the edge of space, the powerful houses of Old Earth have finally discovered an abundant source of energy in the Abyssi Cluster, a system of six alien planets striving to maintain peace. Occupy the planets and recruit politicians to gain influence and power for your faction in the epic worker placement strategy game, Sovereign Skies. Treasure Falls Games launches The Quest Kids, a game for 2-4 to four players that takes about 20-45 to 45 minutes to play. It's a fantasy-themed board game, and players control up to four of the Quest Kids as they explore the magical Tolk's Cave. During your adventure, the team will find treasure, scare away monsters, complete quests, and discover magical items, all while helping their fellow quest kids out along the way. Uproarious Games launches the Grand Carnival. Players take the role of carnival organizers, creating and running the perfect fun fair. 
Players need to be careful as they plan their fairgrounds, purchase attractions, and manage their guests. Aetherus Games launches Ruins of Mars, a game for two to four players that takes about one to two hours to play, and the game players are competing to build out their arsenal of knowledge. They must understand the language of ancient civilizations that colonized Mars. Talon Strike Studios launches Camp Pine Top, a game for one to five players that takes over an hour to play. You are the leader of a group of scouts who are exploring their wilderness. To win, level up your scouts to the highest rank. Along the way, you'll need to collect skill badges, which will give your scouts special abilities and allow them to level up to the highest rank in the scout organization. Horrible Games launches Unicorn Fever, a game for 2-5 to five players takes about an hour to play. You choose your favorite unicorn, place your bet, then watch the race unfold. May the best unicorn win, unless someone fixed the race, of course. And I believe we'll see a Kickstarter launch for Madeira which is an area-controlled dice-rolling worker placement game for two to four players takes over an hour to play. I believe we'll see a relaunch of Dance Card, a game for two to four players that is set during a high school homecoming dance. Dark Hand Games launches Beneath, a game for two to four players takes about one to three hours to play. It's a dungeon-crawling board game. Twenty-fifth Century Games launches Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. Players take on the role of foxes trying to steal as many chickens as they can from the hen house, then cook them up into delicious fried chicken dinner. A game for two to five. A game for two to four players takes about fifteen to thirty minutes to play. Dragon Phoenix Games launches Wacky Widgets, a game for one to four players. And towards the end of September, I believe Steve Jackson Games will launch. Deadly Doodles 2. Deadly Doodles is sort of like a roll and write game, but more of a draw and draw game, as they say. Also, toward the end of September, War Torn Games launches Meeple Force, a dexterity based action game. So, from this list of games, we'll be doing a bunch of videos Manchukuo, um, Valhall, Time of Legends Destinies, Arc Revels, uh, maybe Seven Bridges, Sovereign Skies, The Quest Kids, Camp Pine Top. Unicorn Fever, Winner Winner Chicken Dinner, maybe a couple more, but Camp Pine Top is with Talent Strike Studios, and they are the company that is doing a giveaway for this video. Uh, they produced vinyl, and if you'd like to enter for a chance to win, just make a comment below. Uh, you can make a comment about one of the games that you're interested in from the list, or you can tell me what your favorite song is, or one of your favorite songs is. I'd love to hear about that. Well, thanks for joining me on today's video, and we would love for you to subscribe to Tantrum House. This episode is sponsored in part by Colossal Games. Check out their game currently on Kickstarter for Omen, Heir to the Dunes.